Okay. Yeah, it's recording. So, hi everyone, welcome um, to I think the fourth edition of the uh, Dynamic Data and Capabilities Working Group. Um, welcome. So, uh, let's start with if everyone is already added their name to the attendee list. Yeah, let's start with the ah uh, first. Is there anyone volunteers to, to take notes and notes? Is it will be just the questions that. I can take notes. Yeah, okay. Thanks. Thank you, Nathan. Um, so let's start with the updates. Uh, Gonzalo, want to go ahead? Uh, sure. Uh, just finishing this. All right. So, yeah. So I've been working mostly on um, adding the explanation about uh, JSON CRDT to uh, the IPFS research CRDT. So there's the 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 pull request uh, URL link is, is on the um, crib pad. You can take a look at it. Uh, so I updated the pull request with more information. Uh, I would really like to close that maybe in the next couple of weeks. If you guys could go ahead and, and take a look at um, the content, the form, and maybe review it would be really, really helpful. But um, yeah, I don't know if it's becoming harder to understand than the, the paper itself or not but but yeah that's why I need a couple more pair of eyes tomorrow um, I'm actually gonna be talking with a couple of friends about about CRDTs and I'm gonna share this this uh, document with them so that they can also take a look at it and, and see what what they, they think about it so yeah that's that's been pretty much it and uh, today I also added a comment on um, the issue about uh, CRDT garbage collection. So that's on the dynamic and dynamic data and capabilities repo. Um, so I kind of I've been thinking about this for a bit, and, and uh, today I just wrote down some some of my thoughts um, about this issue and how to what I believe it could be a way to actually uh, find uh, sort of a con or, or reach a consensus between all the replicas so that in terms of uh, uh, a time in, in, in a, an estate to, to make a snapshot so that we could uh, sort of a garbage collection, collect everything behind that snapshot. So I don't know, I haven't really like figured out a way that this would not work, but you know, it might be so that uh, it's, it's completely uh, not working anyways. But um, anyways, conceptually, I'm still also wrapping my mind around this idea. Um, yeah, that's that's been pretty much it. I was also looking for uh, the stuff which is um, uh, open for the Q2 and and taking a look at what could I pick uh, afterwards. Now that I'm getting a bit more more time after a couple of talks I, I did. So um, yeah, that's that's pretty much it from my side. Cool. Thank you, Gonzalo. Um, yeah, uh, I'll definitely be taking a look at your your your, your contributions. So your your request to the JSON uh, CRDT. I took a look at like a few weeks ago, and then I'm mm -hmm. I'm going to review it uh, again. Thank you for that contribution. Sure. Uh, it's um, and then the, the the garbage collection also be be reviewing that uh, later today. And give you give you a bit of of well feedback. It's a very hot topic, and you know, I've also been discussing that offline, um, more in more in the context of snapshots and, and fast boot. But I think probably the, the one solution will will solve both both problems, both issues. Perhaps not sure, um, but yeah, it's it's kind of a hot topic. Uh, thank you, uh, Nathan. You have any question to to Gonzalo? I don't think so. Cool. So we can move on to, to you, Nathan. Uh, sure. Well, um, Pedro and I have been going back and forth on on quite a number of issues um, related to CRTD. What we're trying to do right now is um, uh, replace P, uh, YJS in PeerPad with um, Peer CRTD, um, and so one of the things I'm working through right now is um, ACL, and so there was an issue that Pedro and I went back and forth a little bit on um, because keeping track of ACL outside of the CRTD 
makes it really hard to sync in time with with what's actually going on um, in the CRTD. And using a simple vector clock plus, so an operation clock basically, plus um, embedding the ACL in the CRTD should make it pretty straightforward to determine whether a user has permission to do something um, within the CRTD if if that's all embedded. So so we've been thinking so I've been thinking about that and obviously Pedro's been thinking about that and uh, uh, I was just looking at in fact before this meeting uh, I think the issue in in this repo uh, you were asking how we could um, structure that and so I was thinking you know an internal an internal structure of operations plus plus a collision version of each operation like are you allowed to collide is this is this user allowed to do this operation on the CRTD this type of operation so if it's just a register it's set right but in addition is the user allowed to do a set collision I'm, I'm not sure if that makes sense or not because of merging and things like they'd be allowed to do it but then it would be merged later and it would collide so but th that's where my thoughts have been um, yeah otherwise uh, our team has been working on um, on benchmarking peer CRTD um, and and determining what our target should be uh, for peer pad how many operations per second um, we need to be able to do and what a typical how many operations a typical peer pad document produces and how long that takes to bootstrap or boot in general um, and and then so that we once we have all the information for where we're at and all the information for where we need to be then we can worry about um, how to uh, how to jump that gap the Lance has already had quite a bit of success uh, just solving a couple of recursion bugs that um, we're making things take a lot of time and, and run out of memory and stuff. And so performance has actually gotten uh, fairly decent, down a thousand operations in 20 seconds or something like that. And so we'd like to get a thousand operations below 10 seconds, I think is, is one of the targets. But we, until we actually measure what, it, what a typical document might produce, um, we don't have a, a very strict target yet. So that's it from um, me and some of the and yet folk. Thank you, Nathan. Uh, that's super, super useful. Uh, so peer CRDT is, um, is kind of an abstract um, JavaScript based implementation of an operation based, several operation based CRDTs as a bunch of sets, as a, as a bunch of uh, sequences and, and maps. And right now we're going to use one of them for for PeerPad and Nathan and, and their, his team. They're they're working on on integrating, as I said, that on on, on PeerPad. And one of the things that is that it uses the DAG structure, so it, it's very IPFS native. Uh, uh, unlike YJS, that's why we're not using YJS. Uh, try not not using YJS anymore. Unlike YJS, it's very PeerCRDT IPFS is very uses immutable immutable structures uses the DAG to to model the, the operation tree the, the causal operation tree and with that uh, we're stressing the ipfs uh, system in a browser uh, with limited resources and so there is some work to be done at, at that layer and some work to be done on ipfs layer and, and nathan is working on on that layer i, I believe and the IPLD team is working on the DAG and in the Merkle DAG uh, layer to accelerate synchronization of of um, um, of DAG nodes between several several peers, and it's very very important important work uh, that will pave the way for making a dynamic data easily available on on IPFS uh, decentralized uh, web apps. 
Um, so thank you again, Nathan, for 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 that and for the update. Um, Gonzalo, do you have uh, questions for for Nathan? Uh, I had a couple of questions, but now you just answered them. So thanks a lot for that. Oh. <laughs> Okay, cool. I have an additional comment, if that's okay. Sure, um, sure, yeah. Um, so what, we're targeting um, uh, the distributed conference in San Francisco. Um, that's the end of July. We're targeting um, a new version of PeerPad that uses PeerCRTD that has um, a strong sense of identity and um, ACL and uses peer CRTD um, in PeerPad. We're targeting that for the for that conference. And uh, that's true. And and at the same time, uh, we're working on 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 a generalization of uh, the peer uh, platform, peer star platform, uh, something that will enable dynamic data web apps uh, based on, on IPFS um, in, a, in a generic way. So generic building blocks for, for dynamic web apps. And Nathan's team is, are also working on, on that. Yeah, so that's the, that's the peer star repo under IPFS. Exactly. So watch that repo. <laughs> cool. um, regarding that, any, any question, Mosol? Uh, or, really, or, or Lance, Lance, are you there? I'm here. Yes. Hi. Uh, do you want do you want to give your? Uh, I'm going to. Do you want to give your update and and put your information on on the meeting quick pad. Well, and welcome. First of all, welcome to the meeting. <laughs> Lance? Yeah, it was a bit noisy right here. Didn't catch everything you said. Oh, we, were wondering if, we were wondering if you would put your name on the crypt pad and if you would give a quick update. Okay, yeah, I can do that. Uh, update that I have is that I've been going through pure CRDT, uh, just testing how fast it can converge across peers. Uh, did a bunch of testing Friday and found that if I had like three peers and I had a thousand changes, I want, wanted them to apply, like pick a random peer and have them apply one of the changes to where it made a very, very forked and merged uh, DAG. Um, it took over five hours before my machine ran out of memory and crashed before they converged. Uh, I did some profiling and found that one of the methods had a like exponential runtime order. Uh, so I made a PR to reduce that down and then doing those thousand changes ran in 60 seconds. Um, that's still a bit too slow because that had no network time involved. So we still have, we're overblowing our time budget really. Um, but that's a dramatic improvement. Um, still looking to see if there are any other little areas like that. Um, so the thing that killed it was like doing a promise dot all on a map and not doing any sort of short circuiting to return early and stop processing the tree. Um, uh, so yeah, after that, I'm going to be on to just getting the peer CRDT integrated into PeerPad and actually testing live changes and seeing uh, when we're good enough. That's it. Cool, Lance. Thanks. Uh, that's that's impressive. Uh, that's really impressive. Uh, thank you for that. Uh, so, any questions for for Lance? That, that's what I call squashing bugs. Well done, man. Yeah, it's impressive. Uh, great news. Um, all right. So, are there any generic questions? Um, or anything blocking anyone that's you need to know? Raise your hands if you have. No. Cool. Um, all right, so I think, 
Oh yeah, it's, it, they're, they're still me. I have to give my updates. Okay, I'll do that now. So yeah, we've been over the course of what, these last two weeks, we've been discussing a, a bunch of, of, of things regarding the Peer Star platform and and Peer Shady T. We're talking to, to Nathan, we're talking to Lance also. Um, and uh, there's ongoing discussions on, on either Peer Star or uh, Research Shady T or even the dynamic uh, data and capabilities working group uh, repos on, on GitHub, which uh, uh, I'll add the links to here. Um, also, uh, we've been uh, this last weekend. I, I've been in Lisbon with the IPFS team, and we've been discussing uh, representations of a CRDT on top on the IPLD. This is not directly related to the current work. It's more related of the requirements that we're going to have for the IPLD uh, for the interplanetary link data framework uh, on, on that next version that's going that's starting to, to be developed um for those that don't know plD will not not all not only be a descriptive language it'll also be uh, something that, that has uh, computation and so it will be able to describe fully described types on 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 top of IPLD. Uh, at least that's the goal um also i've been discussing um a bit around what Nathan also also is, is starting to develop, which uh, which ACL type laced with operation data is going to give us guarantees of strong eventual consistency. And there's been some back and forth, well offline and online, uh, and and then it's still very a very um, hot topic, I guess. I think proof of concepts is is something that that may. Um, May be needed, and I think Nathan, as he said, is is, is working on 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 that. Um, uh, in progress, I've been working on uh, Delta CRDTs in JavaScript. Um, I've made a bunch of progress during the the last few days. Only thing missing from the major CRDT groups are is a sequence type, some array-like type, for if you if you want. Uh, and I'm I'm working on that. Um, so I hope to have that uh, ready, not next week, because next week will be a big um, week, a very difficult week, but I think the, the next meeting I'll, I'll have some update on that. And also I'm going to be working during this week on a CRDT primer tutorial, something that will be allow us to quickly ramp up new incoming uh, programmers on the CRDT world. Uh, very basic uh, fundamentals of the CRDTs and some some basic CRDT types and libraries that that people can can use to start uh, using CRDTs on on JavaScript. And I guess that's my update. Um, any questions, guys? Um, really cool. Uh, really looking forward for the tutorial on the CRDT basics. Again, I'll. Um, we're uh, as uh, as we talked before. Um, we're organizing this uh, distributed systems meetup um, here in Helsinki. So I guess by the early early June, it's going to be a CRDT um, sort of a themed uh, meetup. So it'd be really cool to either have the tutorial or have you jump jump in if you can and and, and give a couple of words about it. But but let's talk about it off topic. Just to say that the people are really interested about the about the subject, so that would be really cool to maybe get some some more contributors on board as well. Cool, it's a it's a hot topic, and uh, there's a bunch of papers coming out on. I don't know every week there's there's new articles or papers, so it's kind of kind of crazy yeah, and interesting. Cool. Um, any more questions? No. Cool. All right. Um, so. Thank you for that. And I guess we're done for, for today. Um, see you again soon. Bye-bye. Bye. See you. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Pedro. Thank you. Bye-bye, Lance. So. <laughs>